Oh yeah. All right, what you're looking at here is um, what I did was I boiled a chicken um, with some onion in it and uh, some spices and stuff, and there's the chicken, right? And <clears throat> what I'm doing here is I am reducing it, and it's reduced about half so far, or a little more of the water that I put in there. And uh, what we're going to make today is chicken bouillon cubes because I am allergic to MSG. And I think I, I think I said something about this at another point. Uh, MSG makes my fingers swell up and gives me headaches, and so it's no fun at all. Um, but I found this online how to make these things, and then we're going to make them and dehydrate them. So what we do is we take <clears throat> take this stock, and what we'll do, and I haven't completely measured it out yet, but we will take um, salt. Right? There's a uh, I'm using tablespoons. It is <clears throat> three parts, right? I'm using a big tablespoon. Uh, five parts salt to three parts of onion powder, two parts of garlic powder, and two parts of cumin. And I don't actually have cumin, and I don't think it's all that important because uh, I'm going to use some other things in it as well. It's got some oregano and some uh, uh, some thyme and some sage in it. And uh, I'm going to see if I can't make these things up. And then what we're going to do is I found uh, what, it, what, what you're supposed to do is after you mix the salt and all that stuff together, you put enough of that in there just to get it to moist, right? And then I found uh, you're supposed to, the guy that did it used a half inch, you can see that I think, a half inch piece of uh, like PVC. I found this, this is actually a, a, a connection for a, uh, water irrigation and what you do is you pack the salt and everything mixture you know once you get it all mixed up you pack it in there as tight as you possibly can you know use like a spoon or something I imagine and just kind of pack it in there and then you dehydrate it for 24 hours and I'm going to take you through those steps um, but that is that's our project today and then after I get that done I'm going to uh, um, seal them and uh, have bullion cubes that I can use and that'll be fantastic and I think they'll last a long time since they're packed in salt um, you just gotta make sure you don't get a bunch of fat in there so after this is done um, reducing then I'm gonna skim the fat off of it and uh, use a turkey baster so that I'm getting liquid that's below the fat and uh, we'll go from there okay um, this is what I'm using for the uh, bouillon cubes today I've got sea salt fine sea salt, uh, onion powder, garlic powder, poultry seasoning, and I also used uh, some of this. It's garlic and herb seasoning. I don't know if you can see it there or not. It's made by Tones. I got it at Sam's Club. Um, <clears throat> uh, it's five parts salt, three parts onion powder, two parts of garlic powder, but what I did was use one of the garlic powder and one of the garlic and herb seasoning. And then I threw in, oh gosh, about a tablespoon or thereabouts of that poultry seasoning um, because it's pretty potent stuff. I think two parts of that might be a bit much. We're not using the cumin uh, that it called for. But I think this is going to be really tasty. And uh, then what we're going to do is, like I said, compress it on our, compress it into there. And, and then we're going to put it on our dehydrator rack and run it for 24 hours. Um, the way that this is done, you put just enough of the stock, right, into here that it becomes like wet sand is what the description was. So, um, not too wet, not too dry, just right. Alright everybody, um, I've been making a big old mess over here. <laughs> um, so far this is what I've got, they kind of look like, I don't know, turds. <laughs> They're a little bigger than I expected them to be. They're about an inch long. Um, but I guess I should have expected that since the fitting I'm using isn't an inch long. Um, they are very, very soft. I kind of screwed this up. It is not the consistency of wet sand. It's more like the consistency of damp sand is what you want. Because this is very, very, very wet and actually makes it very hard to get it to form correctly and push it out. And what you're doing is filling this thing and pushing it out with uh, the end of a of a spoon like that and it kind of sticks to the end of the spoon over here right 
when we push it out and it kind of leaves it looking a little bit like these where the one end is kind of chewed up but it doesn't matter they're still going to taste wonderful and uh, there's a whole bunch of them here I'm probably about halfway done all right um, it looks like my mess made 34 of these and they're probably gosh I'd bet they're one and a half times the size of a normal bullion cube you know give or take um, which is okay with me because I always thought bullion cubes were a little undersized personally um, I always used two when they asked for one <laughs> um, okay so made a giant mess here that I'm gonna have to clean up and uh, I think that's it. Um, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to dehydrate it for about 12 to 15 hours on high. And um, I guess I will show you uh, the results when we're done here. So um, there's a lot of uh, good cooking laying here. And uh, I'll let you know if they taste good. And uh, I can tell you just from what was on my hands, um, it does taste really good. In fact, I think it tasted better than a regular bouillon cube. Uh, so that's something.